Maggie Power is how it's made on the build. Like once you got the recipe, the right turbo, the right fuel system, you know, the right parts, yeah. they don't make power once you got the numbers. Like it's managing the power is like being the hard what part. is the hardest part, yeah. Nobody had gone to sevens. Right. When a car went sevens, like the following year, six, seven, eight times. You know? Right. The same with the all wheel drive. One, a lot of people tried all wheel drive stuff back in the days and nobody like did it when, when section eight did it. Yeah. Start believing it's possible. It's, I think it's the, the biggest thing. Like that aspect now, yeah. locals to start doing like like following the steps okay. and be like, you know what, they, this guy did it. We can do it too. Uh, that's absolutely. that's the only. I mean, that's the reason when back in the days when this was a class that like professional guys from NHRA sport compact used to raise, and yeah. for us we were stopping the 11s and 10s. Like the only thing that kept us good, this kept even a hope room like they did it, we can do it. We can do it. It's usually I think that's that's the biggest thing other than that is a little bit, you know, on know how, but it's like it's because just keep trying different things and never taking no for an answer, you know, like you can do it now, like it has to be a way that you can be able to do it. Okay, Phil. Now as a tuner, are you afraid to like, you know, blow a motor? Nah, you know, if you race long enough a lot of times, not as a tuner, it's like anything can go wrong from machinist, mechanic, or whatever. Everything will always fall down to a tuner, but any little thing, you know. What I'm more, I grew more conservative with, is like along the years, especially as the car gotten quicker, is that somebody can get hurt. You know, like I'm, as a, I'm a tuner, I'm known as a tuner, but I'm always. I, I drive sometimes on the stage and I race myself or whatever. It's like when you struggle one of these cars and you hit a wall 180, 200 miles an hour, you know, somebody that usually is one of my boys that is driving, I know their family, I know their kids, and it's somebody that can get hurt. So that's usually that's my main concern. You know, especially this water, like you can blow an engine that's replaceable, but it's like on the process of blowing the engine, antifreeze falls on the tires and you lose control 190 miles an hour and the driver gets hurt. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's that, what I'm more concerned about. That's yeah. what, like, I mean, basically, when you push in the envelope, you want to break some stuff, you know, because you got to find out what's the limit. If you don't break in stuff, you're never pushing, you're never finding out what's the limit, you know? So your advice to, to like local tuners, don't be afraid to blow stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, no me afraid I mean, conserve it, like, yeah. with, 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 with and, it. And, like, um, like this case, let's say, this car, from the dry car. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure we can put together something a lot more purpose built for the conditions yeah. right here that would be quicker than this. That this is a car that I cannot use half of the power that it has because it's, it's built to race out on the stable and it's good tracks or whatever. <laughs> something probably same way bias but a little bit lighter smaller turbo more responsive where i can like 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 control the power better because these big turbos like they are too snappy you know something with those power i probably can get a little bit quicker than this here you know so it's like okay. like don't go crazy by what the people are doing somewhere else it's build a car for what you're actually trying to do for the goal you're trying to accomplish like that's your yeah. main my main thing i tell everybody like, 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 I've done it because I have cars that run on the stage on the street and they are really quick. Purple built car on the street that probably beat this car on the street, but on the track they have no business with this car, you know? So it's like, yeah, so it's like you gotta, you just gotta know. But, but, just a quick question, bro. 
what's the, be the best time for this car in the States? 784, I think it was. Yeah? Yeah, 780s. Oh, yeah. so I mean, you guys basically turn the car way it's, down. It's, and, it's turned down, but not as much as, as people think because okay. it's like, the, the, the thing on the States is like the tracks are so good that we're able to use a lot of power down low. From here, we're gonna use a lot of power down low. So basically, we got it trying to make up for it up top, but you know, even the conditions up top, like the power will power the track the whole way down. So it's like, it's tricky. We, we rely a lot on, on like traction control and stuff like that. Over there, you just rely on traction, like power management more than traction control, leaving the line and then it will take everything. Because I mean, based on what I know of like cars here, um, we have cars here that make a lot of power, yeah. um, and they have the potential to do good time. Mm -hmm. But uh, you mentioned power management a while ago, yeah. and I think that's that's the part yeah, of it. That's 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 the trickiest part. Making power is easy. Okay. Making power is power is made on the build like once you got the recipe the right turbo the right fuel system you know the right parts yeah they don't make power once you got the numbers and it's managing the power is like that's the, hard part. the hardest part yeah it's like it, it, in this car if you don't have a nice um grasp on on, on the power from the beginning yeah. and then what happens is like the tires start overheating or whatever and then it's like it's harder to catch up. Like you gotta take more power to be able to catch up. That's it. And and, and it just it doesn't work. Remember, it's quarter mile, so you just got you don't got you don't got 50 laps for figure it out like in road racing. This is right. you got eight but nine seconds, seconds and, and that's yeah, it. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. again. So that's why I say it's like like let's say this setup. If I would put this car on the dyno of the gate, yeah. probably would make like 600 horsepower of the gate. Okay. Lower good water. Uh, if it would be out here, I probably want something that makes less power than that so I can manage it, like, you know, okay. better, whatever. So it's like I'm fighting with the minimum power that I have on this car, the first half of the track, and then trying to, like, compensate. Yeah. So, you know, it's, I think it's hard. It's like this car is a whole second slower than in the States. In the States. Yeah, but it's all track conditions, you know? I have a question I think a lot of persons may be asking as well. Um, why this year? Um, it's something that is well developed. Uh, we we've been working with. I mean, we I got K Series cars, whole bunch, and they're really good. The K Series is a good engine. Yeah, it's just uh, it's like K Series is more efficient, but B Series is a little bit more robust. You know? okay. and. Uh, there's more like gearing options available and it's like you know easier oh, okay. and okay. I mean in that case of that car that car was export for the sport phone drive this right. series and then we just turn it to all wheel drive, oh, drive. Yeah. Right, right. usually if you try to do all wheel drive of the rig K series have like a, a higher roof oh, okay. and without getting too crazy I mean but still I mean if you go you can go you can go anyway. The, the quickest car that will drive speed factor is still a B series, so, you know. True. They True. say K scheme, but B series, <laughs> like B series on at least on the front wheel drive and rear wheel drive game, yeah, it's proven. I'm, I'm sure because we have a lot of K series here. Yeah. Um, back in the days, we used to have quite a few B series, mm -hmm. but um, since recent years, a lot of K swap cars coming yeah. out, and we made the power. Um, but you know, in terms of that, getting the time, yeah. getting the time done. Managing the time is a little harder. Yeah, 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 yeah. It makes more torque, more power, it's more snappy. Like it's a little bit harder, but yeah. it's doable. Cool. And it's like I said, like uh, front wheel drive is a little bit tricky because front wheel drive depends a lot more on the prep. Like the rear wheel drive stuff. I mean, all wheel drive oh. and rear wheel drive stuff is a lot more. Like it, it, it's more forgiving, yeah, yeah. traction wise, you know. That's it. I was building a car here, all wheel drive is the way to go. All wheel drive, yeah. Definitely. I mean, you know, as you said, you're used to the no prep um, condition, and so of course we all know the all wheel drive better traction. Take these two cars. 
for example, yeah. even though that car as an all-wheel drive platform doesn't have a lot of time on the track, on the United States, we only took it once. And we did 760, the car kind of bug or whatever. Yes. But still, that car is only a tenth from its, from its time on this surface. Yeah. Yeah. This is a whole second. You know, that's that's the difference that you can see from the old drive platform to, to the to the front wheel drive. Like if you're gonna have a good track to race with good surface, a lot of press, yeah the front wheel drive is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Um think old motor stuff like lower power, you can go on the front wheel drive stuff, but high power you wanna go quick, especially out here, all wheel drive is the way to go. What what do you think about like um, all motor setup? Because I mean these two car boosted. Uh, I mean the all motor setup, the all motor setup. Yeah, it should work because it's, it's, it's got a lot less power, you know. So it's, yeah. it's a lot easier to manage, mm -hmm. and, and I'm pretty sure. You, I don't know what's the all motor record here. But not that bad especially i don't know what platform maybe it's a nitro car or m1 car they run 930s over there but on the on the cold like on the heat like last week we were running by americans and quickest pass was like a 958 wow. so well, basically it's like a like i told you like the, the old motor stuff is a lot easier to manage the power so you can you know yeah. you can definitely do it here yeah. but on the boost the stuff the overdrive, drive man it's hard to beat you know, in terms of um, reliability, mm -hmm. um, you know, I know all you drive more components, more parts to brick. Um, yeah, but I mean, now they they have a lot of the parts, like there's a lot of R&D behind that platform. Okay. So it's like, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's got it's like more guarantee. Yeah, I mean, like I say, it's more, you get more bang for your buck. Yeah. So it's like on this, front wheel drive with that kind of power and just you hurting the engine just like spinning. hit it spinning here on the track and we're hitting linears or whatever all wheel drive you can run more you know and and it's like like i tell everybody you know it's, don't chase the number chase the competition you know chase wins okay? like if, if you want to feel that everybody runs like mid age why you gotta try to go there yeah, you can have a seven second car but it's like Try to just have a reliable eight second car that go A to B every fast and give you a chance to win. You know? so, so, yeah. Well, I must say though, um, you guys definitely motivated us yeah. um, to do better, as, as in go faster. You know, we know we know now that it can be done for yeah. a fact. That's so um, I'm hoping that this weekend, yeah. uh, you guys, you know, who knows, might have some competition. Yeah, we definitely, so, uh, we def know? definitely, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta spice things up, and hopefully, you know, we give a good show. And, yeah. and the goal is go a little bit quicker, but have more, more good runs than last time. You know, like every time the car goes down the line, it goes. Yeah, run yeah. that is exciting. Yeah, you know, yeah. That'll be the goal. Goal. Yeah, but I must say again, congrats to you and the team. Jason's very hard working. Um, you behind the keys. I mean, the team. Yeah. You know, you guys are awesome. You know, we're looking for great stuff this evening. All right, man. Thank you. <laughs> All right, cheers. Dress up. Yeah, um, we'll see the guys next year. Ah, I think you may see us in November. Yeah? Yeah, I think we may just stay for that day. I think we may stay for that day. Thank you for watching another video production of 876 Streets. Subscribing to our channel definitely means a lot to us. Thanks for your continuous support.